Why hello, we're going to take a really quick look at the newest installment in the Mazescape series, Mazescape Kids Hypnos. Now the first thing to note is that this is the first ever Mazescape Kids title. So even though the box still says it's for ages 8 and up like the other Mazescape games, the puzzles in this box were designed so that with a little bit of help getting started, a kid all the way down to 6 years old can play. Like every box in the Mazescape series, this box contains 7 different puzzles as well as a pointer stylus. And each of these puzzles is its own unique maze that has a main objective to get to the impossible triangle and get back to the real world, but also has bonus objectives so you can keep revisiting the maps that you've already solved. We're going to take a look inside puzzle number one. So the first thing you're going to do with any Mayscape puzzle is open the main fold and that will take you to your main objective for the game. You are going to start by putting your pointer on the compass rose and you are always trying to get yourself to the impossible triangle that will take you back to the real world. Now if this was a normal maze, we'd look at this and say, well, this can't be solved. There's no way to get up to this portion of the maze. We just can't get to that impossible triangle. But this is what makes Mazescape so unique. This game is all about unfolding the pages of this maze and moving deeper into it before we come back to the surface to try to get ourselves back to this impossible triangle. Anytime I want to, I can unfold or refold the pages that my pointer isn't currently on. So right now I couldn't unfold this page, my pointer's on that one, but I could unfold this one and see where that leads. Now that's interesting, there's some other stuff to be seen there, uh, obviously the art is incredible, uh, but it's another dead end, so maybe I don't want to go that way. Maybe I'm going to start by folding that one back, and then heading over this way, and seeing what I find if I unfold the page that I had been on. Ah, still not much of a place to go. Maybe I'll come on over here and unfold here. And as you can see, this is kind of how the puzzle's gonna go. I'm trying to get myself to where I could get back to that impossible triangle. And I know probably standing on this space and then unfolding back to where the triangle was is how I'm gonna be able to do that. But I can't get up there just yet. Uh, so maybe I'll try and do one of these. Uh, now we're talking. So this one I might have solved. I'm gonna take my pointer all the way through the maze over to here and then do a couple of clever unfolds. There, I've done it, and I get to that impossible triangle. And after you've solved each puzzle, you can look at the back of the rules book, and it's going to give you some bonus objectives that you can go back and revisit that puzzle with. So there's two books I needed to find in this puzzle, and I can go back again and try to find those books before I make my way back to reality, and if I do that, I get to mark them off on the back of my rule book. There are six more mazes to be solved in that box, and we just love this game for travel as a focused solo activity. It's amazing for kids, and now it's amazing for kids who are even younger than it used to be before. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.